Hello everyone, it's Rob the Backyard Gardener here and if you've been watching my videos, you've noticed recently I've had an aphid infestation. So after a few hours of uh, internet research and as well as a few hours of watching some uh, different ways to treat it on uh, YouTube, just short of also obviously buying some ladybugs and releasing them all over the place, whether in my greenhouse or in my yard, you're kind of at the mercy of the ladybugs wanting to stay in your area as well as how much they can consume over time. So I'm going to go with another natural way to treat it and uh, it seems like the best way to do it is taking one tablespoon for every quarter gallon of water or basically one part soap to every 100 parts water. And uh, since my sprayer here only has half gallon increments, all we got to do is take two tablespoons for two gallons and it's not exactly that precise of a formula it's really about two teaspoons for every quarter of a gallon and since I decided to use a tablespoon which is as you know two and a half teaspoons I added a little more extra water in here as well and uh, I'm gonna go treat my aphids got myself a pump sprayer here so that I can uh, get it done so I'm gonna go treat it now and I'm super stoked it could be the end of the aphids. So why does soap and water work? Well, if you get some dishwashing soap, some hand soap, it has some detergent in it. The detergent actually dries out the sticky residue, the sticky uh, protective coating on the aphids. And when that dries out and it eats it away, they're really vulnerable to anything and they pretty much drop and die that sticky residue actually keeps them moist inside because they're really soft shelled so anyway we're going to go ahead and uh, uh use my handy dandy sprayer zoom in on some of the aphids that we see all these all of my squash and pepper plants in my greenhouse and treat them efficiently uh and uh, effectively hopefully and the other thing is when you spray them down with the pressure of this water also it knocks them off the plant so they can't get back on the plants and because they're soft shelled it does a little damage to them as well and kills them so let's go zoom in on these suckers see what we can do thanks so i wanted to show you some of the aphids on these plants look at these guys they're just everywhere on these on my on my squash plants here look at that that is uh an infestation they're also if you were to pick up the leaves, maybe I can get a zoom on here. You can see them on the leaves as well. Not as bad on these leaves, but uh, they're there. They were really bad on these leaves over here on my pepper plants. I treated them yesterday for the most part, but uh, they're still there. Anyway, the trick to the wand here, guys, let me see if I can zoom back out. The trick to the wand here, guys, is that I can uh, spray them kind of like that and really because it's just a little bit of soap and a little bit of uh, of uh, water it's not harmful for the plants so I'm gonna go ahead and spray all these off and uh, get rid of these little pests thanks everyone well there you go everyone I have treated them I guess the uh, only question remaining now is was my mixture good enough to kill the aphids while not harming the plants? I used a pretty generous portion of it. I'm probably going to treat them again in a few days to make sure that I get, uh, get full coverage. But I also need to make sure that there's no significant damage to the plants. So anyway, we have treated them. Yes!